This week's episode is part three of our three-part series of our new complete RV travel guide, how to secure your best camping trip now. It is part of our five essential steps of planning for an RV camping trip monthly theme. Today we are discussing travel itinerary, entertainment for road trips, and menu plans. All of that and much more coming up on part three of our three-part series of trip planning with the Soul RV Podcast. Welcome to the Soul RV Podcast. I am Mark. And I am Angie with Soul RV. Like Mark mentioned earlier, our topic this week is a continuation from last week's five essential steps of planning for an RV camping trip. This is part three of that series. Last week we told you the first three steps from the five essential steps of planning an RV camping trip and today we are finishing up with steps four and five. Step four includes creating a travel itinerary and entertainment for road trips. Finally, step five is all about making menu plans so that you spend your time relaxing on your trip and not cooking. So let's get started first with the importance of having a properly working GPS and maps. We recommend getting the Garmin RV890 GPS Navigator Bundle mm -hmm. or the Garmin RV785 that allows you to record your trip with a built-in dash cam. What better than to know what happened on your camping trip than having a dash cam to film the trip going to and from? Right. We're going to start first with the Garmin RV890 GPS Navigator Bundle. This GPS navigation system by Garmin has an 8-inch edge-to-edge touchscreen display that can be viewed in landscape or portrait mode. They really have thought of everything for an RVer with this package as they note that pull-behind trailer may take a different path than motorhomes and they have allowed for that. They create custom routes with road warnings that help you avoid unexpected sharp curves too. They give you advice on where to stop for views along your trip as well. In addition, the custom RV routing takes into account the size and weight of your RV, then suggests a route from there. There is also a preloaded directory of RV parks and services, plus content from the Ultimate Public Campgrounds, KOA, iOverlander, and a directory of the U.S. National Parks. You can also save profiles for multiple vehicles or trailers, which is a great bonus for us with two RVs. We can just take it from the motorhome to the truck that pulls our travel trailer without having to reprogram anything. So like I mentioned earlier, they have a bundle available for purchase that includes the hard shell 10 inch case for the tablet and GPS, dual DC 12 volt and 24 volt electronic multifunction car socket lighter USB ports, and a dash mount for your new Garmin GPS. We included the link in the podcast description. The Garmin RV785, it has a 7-inch high-resolution touchscreen and voice-activated navigation. Mm -hmm. Additionally, the custom routine takes into account your RV size and weight to find the most efficient route. It also provides road warnings to keep you aware of steep grades, curves, and weight limits. There is a directory included of RV parks and services plus additional camping directories. It is compatible with the Garmin BC35 wireless backup camera that we've also recommended. Mm -hmm. You can pair this GPS with your compatible smartphones to gain access to hands-free calling and smart notifications. Just like the Garmin RV890 that Angie told you about, the Garmin RV785 has integrated content from Ultimate Public Campgrounds, KOA, iOverlander, Plan RV, TripAdvisor, Foursquare, and more. If all of that wasn't enough, what we love about this GPS unit is that it has a built-in dash cam. Mm -hmm. So you can record your entire drive to and from or just the special parts of it. That's so awesome. Mm -hmm. 
having a travel attainment itinerary is a good way to ensure that you do not miss out on the most important things you wish to see while on your adventure. We have an itinerary included in our free travel binder printable forms. Mm -hmm. We have taken many road trips in our motorhome, although we enjoy the scenery most of the times. <laughs> Sometimes we just get a little bored of driving on the highway. Right. We decided to make a list of things we enjoy doing together as a family and created tips for entertainment in the RV on road trips. Right, and those ideas are books. Reading or listening to books is a great way to pass the time while traveling in your RV or any travels. Amazon offers a great option for audiobooks called Audible. You can easily sign up for Audible with your Amazon account. You can get your first month free just to try it out and see if you like it, and then you can cancel any time. Another option for unlimited reading books that can be read or listened to on any device is the Kindle Unlimited. You get one month free to try it out and can cancel any time as well. We suggest that you search for books you're interested in first before signing up for either one of the above and then sign up for the free service. Personally we like Amazon's Audible a bit more because they have a lot of book series that Aiden likes and it is awesome to listen to while RV traveling. We use Aiden's iPad for Audible audiobooks and for streaming TV without using a hotspot, Amazon Music, and more. It has more than paid for itself with as much as we use it while traveling. Please don't rule out the idea of the regular paperback book, though, and with hard covers. For some people, there is just nothing like opening a book to all those adventures. Games. Mm -hmm. There are many games out there to play while traveling. Our five of our favorites all are very affordable. Mm -hmm. Mad Libs on the Road, <laughs> Regal Games Original Travel Bingo 4-Pack, mm -hmm. Rubberneckers, pun intended, Our Moments for Families, Couples, and a 2-Pack for Grandparents and Grandchildren Bundle. Mm -hmm. Number 5 is our absolute favorite idea. Yeah. It is a series of questions called Our Moments. Our Moments is a series of thought-provoking questions that get families communicating better. They come in a wide variety of theme questions for families, couples, and two packs that include the bundle for grandparents and grandchildren. How great is this for communication with families? Mm -hmm. Who doesn't want to communicate with their family on a road trip? <laughs> Electronics. We don't need to tell you that we live in a world of technology filled with iPhones, iPads, and this can be even more opportunity to keep everyone entertained throughout even the longest of RV road trips. You can tell by all the information about the books that we gave you that it stands to reason even more why electronics on long RV camping trips may be a great option for you. There are additional options that you may want to consider using those devices for, such as photography. Try our photography challenge while traveling. You can do it all at once or over 31 days and watching TV or movies. Another option could be to create a road trip music playlist. We do this with Amazon Music. Don't forget headphones for the teens if needed. <laughs> Road Trip Essentials There are RV camping road trip essentials that you should not forget to take with you. They are simple yet important things to consider. All the comforts while on the RV camping road trip, snacks and drinks are essential. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to load up on your healthy snacks and beverages. Right. Pillows, blankets are essential for longer trips. Being comfortable gets harder and harder the longer your trip is and having pillows and blankets are essential part in keeping everyone comfy. Mm -hmm. Breaks. All we can say about stopping for breaks is just do it. It helps break up the trip. And who knows what you will come upon on these breaks. We have found some interesting places <laughs> when pulling over for a quick stop just to get out and stretch. Just make sure it's a safe place to stop. Right. All right, now we're going to talk about campsite arrival and departure and checklists for both. It's important to have an RV camping routine designed to help you remember all the things that must be done when you set up your campsite. This is a routine that you can use upon arrival at the campground as well as when you are ready to leave and tear down your campsite to head home. Knowing how to set up and tear down an RV campsite with our free checklist that we have on our website can save you time and potentially save you from stress and money issues while being prepared at your campsite. We're going to list some of them here today, but you can head over to solarv.com to print it out. The link is provided in the podcast description. The seven steps for how to set up and tear down an RV campsite, including what to do when you arrive. 
We are going to start with what to do when arriving at a campground. If no reservations have been made, find a site that is not reserved. Find a camp host. Usually camp hosts are incredibly helpful and want to make your camping experience a great one. If you're a beginner RV, simply ask the camp host any questions you have and I'm sure they will be happy to assist you with anything that they can. Mm -hmm. Check in with the camp host and pay for the site. <laughs> Drive to your campsite and put the placard on the post if given one. Always check the campsite before pulling into it for any debris such as a nail or anything that could potentially be right. harmful to your vehicle or you. Right. Locate the hookups, water, sewer, electricity before pulling into the campsite to know how to place a camper mm -hmm. and then pull in or back in to your campsite. Awesome. How to set up a campsite. Visually check to see how far off the RV is from being level. If needed, level the RV with blocks. Chalk the wheels to secure the RV. Disconnect the trailer from the tow vehicle at this stage if a travel trailer. After the RV is level, put down the stabilizing jacks. Hooking up your RV to electricity, water, and sewer. Set up interior and exterior amenities such as chairs, camping rugs, and pull out the awning if desired. Remember to add the chemical to the toilet. How to tear down a campsite. First, collect all the trash from the campsite and put it in a dumpster. Check the campsite and ensure it's like you originally found it. Two, if you have pets, remember to clean up after them. Number three, pull up your stabilizing jacks. Number four, empty the black tank and gray tank if at a sewer site. If not, obviously this step is done at the dump station. Number five, disconnect the water hose and drain it. Number six, disconnect from electricity. And number seven, attach the trailer to the towing vehicle and hook up to safety chains and emergency breakaway cable. <music> Menu plans. Having an idea what you're going to do for meals while on your trip will help take the stress off meal planning while out on your trip. If you have been married as long as we have, the question of what's for dinner, are you hungry, or where do you want to eat, what do you want to eat, are just plain annoying. Although while at home we are becoming big fan of where do you want to eat, since that means we don't have to cook, but while out RV camping we prefer to cook. There are so many easy ways to cook and make fast meals. You can see all our camping recipes and ideas on our website at solarv.com and just click on food for the soul. We also use a meal planner. Yes, the days can be switched around and usually are, but like I said before, I must have a plan to begin with. Organizing and planning meals for RV camping can be an annoying part of the camping experience. Usually this is a task left to the ladies to complete. Sorry guys, but it is truth in most situations. There is a lot that goes into organizing and camping what meals will please everyone. This includes creating a shopping list, shopping for those groceries, and then finally cooking. It is a time-consuming chore that really needs to be made short and sweet, and that is why we began to search for a way to make things easier. I found a great app that does help. It is an easy-to-use RV meal planner and recipe organizer app to help you get it all done fast. This awesome app is free, and it is called Copy Me That. It gives the user the ability to manage recipes, shopping lists, and meal planning all in one place. You can add your own recipes, and what I love about this app is that you can also add recipes directly from a website instantly. You don't have to print anything. If you see a recipe that you'd like to try on a website, you can just copy it to the app. You can do this by simply adding the button to your browser. It only copies the recipe, not the additional text. It also saves the original link from where you found the recipe in case you ever have to get details and go back to it. This app gives you a great page of details about the recipe. You can also use the app to create a shopping list that automatically organizes everything into categories and makes shopping a breeze. There's an option to create a meal plan from the recipes that you have added to the app. Then you can quickly add those ingredients to your shopping list right there on the app. You can access Copy Me That from any device. Additionally, it is automatically synced across all your devices from an internet connection. We included a link in the podcast description taking you to Soul RV where we have an example with photos of how this app works in much, much detail. So be sure to check that out as well. That is it for today's episode of the Soul RV Podcast. We hope that you have enjoyed our three-part series of our new complete RV travel guide, How to Secure Your Best RV Camping Trip Now. Thanks so much for joining us today. As always, Soul RV encourages you to safely get out and live and explore the world around you. 
If you'd like to check out our show notes from today's episode, just go over to soulrv.com and click underneath podcast. And make sure you follow us on social media and be sure to hit that subscribe button below.